multiple ants under the genus Mimesia are known to be some of the largest ants in the world. While ants are known for their serrated teeth and painful stings that they can inflict on their prey. These ants can measure into up to 30 millimeters for a worker and up to 40 millimeters for a queen. There are roughly over 90 species of bull ants all over Australia. Unlike most ants, bull ants hunt alone and use sight instead of pheromones to find their way around. Bull ants are well equipped climbers with little hooks on their feet that allow them to hook onto thin objects like a blade of grass. Bull ants do sound like quite aggressive and nasty ants out to get you, but you might find that bull ants are actually quite soft and curious creatures at times. Bull ant colonies can range from different sizes, from beginning colonies with only a queen and a few workers to large colonies of hundreds of ants strong and in some communities colonies that get even to the thousands strong. Speaking of queens, not all bull ant species require a queen to have a colony. Some species have what you call a gamrogate, which is a worker that was fertilised by a male, laying fertilised eggs. This would usually only happen if the queen of the colony died and a worker had to assume its role to keep the colony alive and producing new generations. But this is not always the case. Bull ants are quite intelligent ants, with some species creating their nests out of dark coloured items in the winter months to absorb heat, to putting light, white and reflective items on their nests to reflect heat in the hot summer months. Overall, I think bull ants are a very interesting species of ant and are an important part of the environment to Australia. You may not know, but bull ants churning the soil and making their tunnels helps promote healthy plant growth, germinating seeds. Thank you for listening to this documentary about bull ants. I hope you enjoyed it.